How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a Wednesday Lunch Live Sketch. My name is Frank Summers. Thank you for joining me today. If you're uh, new to the Wednesday Lunch Live Sketch, uh, we pick a topic every week. We do it for about 25 minutes, try and take the sketch as far as we can. Sometimes it gets to color. Most times it does not. Sometimes I even work on it after the recording is over. So that said, I'm going to do a little bit of a... Uh, I'm going to do a bit more of a... Um, original character that I did my, that I have played around with myself uh, on my own time I should say and so I'm gonna do that first thing I want to do is test my audio there it is but it doesn't sound like my music is playing through so I'll have to deal with that some other day why don't we jump on into Photoshop and we can just start screwing around let's start playing <sighs> so I did not do any and preliminary stuff. Oh, that is working really slow. A little better. Let's pull this down. Um, and let's pull the opacity down a little bit. That's better. So the first thing I'd like to do is just get a, a ground plane. So again, I'm working with this bird, a bird type character, who uh, I threw some drawings up of him before. Um, on my my social sites, and uh, I thought it was in, he's a fun little guy. He's I thought it was fun that he's a pilot, but who can't? He's a bird. I don't know. Bird pilot. I thought was a funny concept. Um, so that said, let's just get an idea of where we want it to be. Looking over his shoulder, and I think he had. We're going to give him some. I've been putting goggles on his head, so let's roll with that. And he's got some tough some hairs like this. Uh, so this leg, if this arm is moving that way, this the counter leg would be like this. All right, and the idea I had in his head is he was running from a dinosaur. I don't know where that kind of came from. So let's see. I was playing with dinosaurs this weekend, drawing dinosaurs. So let's see what I can come up with a little bit more on the fly. And even in terms of a comp composition, um, the dinosaur has to be kind of down here like this, something T-Rex-like. Maybe a smaller cranium. Um, and something like this. Oh, I did not start my timer. That's a big boo-boo. So I wanted to do that really quickly right now. Go to my phone. There we go. My timer is set, so we have 25 minutes. And let's see what else we can do. So the cranium here. Uh, more mouth. And something like this. Big jaw muscles. I mean, it's not necessarily a T-Rex, but it could be a T-Rex, I think. I'm more of a cartoony type thing. Alright, and so here's the root cage going down into a pelvis, something like this. Um, you know, I guess the T this thing, this T-Rex type thing is chasing after our little guy here. So maybe we could even take him, pull him down a little more. And let's find the arms. Look at these arms, really short, ineffectual. Get these legs kind of nice and massive. Something like this. I'm going to try and get this. I'm going to maybe bring this to color today. So I'm going to work a little cleaner, not cleaner, but a little more um, uh, simple than I normally would, I suppose. Simple, more simple shapes, which is fine as it lends itself to the design. A more cartoony design. 
And so that's like a rough layout. I think this is where we're going to go with this. And I could probably even take this little guy here and, and pull him down further uh, into the composition. An experiment maybe with something like this, an overlap. I feel like some space between the two of them would serve us well. And he's sort of in a three-quarter. So, so I'm trying to get, like, for a design, you know, we have a triangular type thing going on there, right? The classic triangular composition. Okay, so that's our thumbnail. So why don't we make another layer? And we'll call this roughs. And we'll pull our thumbs down a little bit, lower the opacity. And we'll work on our little bird guy here a little bit. We'll pull our opacity back up on our brush. Make it a little thinner. Thinner than that. That's better. Maybe even go a little darker. And let's just start going to town here. Yeah, I don't know. This little this little guy is kind of fun. So these things are wrapping around his head, so we gotta kinda find the the bend on them. You know, sometimes you start working a little too fast. That's what I feel like I'm doing right now. I feel like I'm working a little too fast. So I'm going to try and slow down. I feel like his eyes should be pretty wide. Take me in. What's up? How are you, man? Thanks for thanks for joining me. How's it going today, dude? Take man in the YouTube chat. Hope you're hanging. This fine day. Where are you from, man? There's some overlap here on the brow. Let's get that in there. There we go. This is more or less pretty round, and I have it kind of going into his scarf. And this guy's kind of a work in progress. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to play with just two feathers on top of his head now. And I have him wearing a vest. So... Kind of get that shoulder in there, connecting a little more solidly to his body. And so what I did not do is construct this hand. So let's take a hot second here to figure out what I want this hand to do. And I feel like since it's wings that are substituted, you know, there's a substitution of fingers, or feathers I should say, can just keep it really straight. And I feel like I probably want to revisit this hand a little bit too. For now, let's see what we can do here. I'm just keeping it clean. So 
something along those lines like that. Let's go back down to our thumbs layer here and work out what's going on down here. So we have our vest happening in this area. And so this leg is coming at us in perspective. His, his legs are kind of tubular. They taper slightly at the ankles. And now let's kind of conceptualize the feet a little bit here. So maybe something like that. Keep them clean. And by clean, I mean just straight, nice clean lines, uh, nothing extraneous. Let's go back up to our rough layer here. And save. Saving is good practice. the overlap of the toes and just straight down into a heel like that. Imagine this is like a zipper. Here's the bottom of his butt. Okay. All right. Okay, and just keep these clean. Go out, maybe. I don't really like this. Space is a little cramped. Alrighty. And of course, we have to fix this a little bit. So, still not to my liking. So, let's see what we can do to really kind of repair this. Get that shoulder in there. And he's got a scarf. So let's see if we can get the idea of the scarf across. So I'm just hopping down to my thumbs layer and just fixing things as I need to. And he's got some tail feathers. For now, I think I'm going to just go with this. Let's run through and maybe just tighten the sketch up a little more. And okay, this is pretty cool for so for now. Uh, let's go up and take a look at our dinosaur. And also, let's just check for time. I would like to definitely get through some color today. So let's see what we can do. Save our project. And there we are. I'm going to pull the flow up a little bit. And let's get some teeth.
always have trouble with teeth on the inside. Like, what are they doing? And let's get that muscle in there. On inside of the mouth here. Let's get these little baby T Rex arms in here. Largely ineffectual. They will do nothing. Not a little bit. I want to take this brow and recede it, and maybe even pull this one back a little bit. And we'll make them a little chunkier and less rounded. And push it forward a little bit in space. Let's get this big haunch. The idea is some toes in here. Sidisa, how are you doing, man? Thanks for joining the stream. Where are you from? Hope you're doing well today. Just doing some sketching here. Going to a little India. Welcome. It's great. How's it over in India? What is it? I'm sure it's nighttime right now, right? It's probably the hours are different. Okay, these two feet don't look exactly the same. Not my. This is not my favorite.
what do you do? You in school? You work? Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Just drawing some T-Rexes and a bird guy today. Uh, he's tentatively named Birdo, which is a poor name, and I understand it's also from Super Mario Brothers 2, uh, but it was all I could come up with at the time. This guy here, Birdo. Maybe not the best name in the world, but... The idea of a tail back here. There we go. All right, let's hit save. Pull the thumbnails out a little bit. All right, I'm not, hu I'm not a huge fan of the T-Rex, so why don't we just fix... I can spend... Let me see my time here. Six minutes. So what I'm going to do is recede his cranium a little bit. I want it to be smaller. Something like that. And we can get a little bit of, introduce a bit more of a neck in here. Something along the lines there. Well, I'm still learning to do animation. Do you have any tips for me? Still in school. Uh, the only thing I can say really is to just study as much as you can, work as hard as you can. There's so much, there's so many different ways of studying animation these days. I'm assuming you want to do uh, traditional stuff or. Uh, in CG, I really can't help you too much because it's not necessarily my um, bag of tricks. Um, but there's so many different ways of studying um, these days. Um, going frame by frame through some of your favorite stuff, anything that, that you, um, that anything that inspires you, uh, you can go through it frame by frame and just see how they're doing things. Um, uh, and the other thing is just to keep doing it a lot. Um, you're going to fail a lot, especially in the beginning. You're going to fail constantly. Um, the important thing is to just try and learn from the failures um, and see what went wrong, why did it go wrong, try something different uh, to see why maybe something isn't working properly. Um, so those are the biggest things I could say to you in terms of maybe learning animation or any kind of or any kind of um, craft, really, be it uh, illustri illustration. Stop. Should I put my uh, illustration? Ugh, bonking my. Ah! She keeps sending me messages. My wife. I don't know. She knows I'm streaming. What is she crazy? Let's build this out a little bit too. So any any kind of discipline, um, illustration or painting, you know, you just have to spend lots of time studying it. Make the mistakes and learn from them, and put the work in, put the hours in. Um, that's the biggest thing I could say really to anyone who's trying to figure it out. Okay, so let's do this. Let's put in some color. Save. Uh, let's grab this this I flow on it the only thing is I hope my street yeah my stream's still going good uh, you know I had some drawings oh hmm. let's see what we can do here uh, I don't really want to make him the typical green. Let's put a little bit of gray in him. Hold on, I need to. I need to do this. I need to mute my. Ugh, I forget how to silent my silence my uh, hangouts. All right, that's too light. That's a little better. I 
think it's a little better. Go a little darker, maybe. Now, the only problem is my color, my background. It's very similar in color or tone, I should say, or value. Ugh. Let's try that. It works a bit better. And let's just mask this in. Thanks a lot. Well, that's the best company. What's the best company or field of animation you work in? Any advice? Actually, I started to design, started to design small games. Uh, I personally work a lot. Well, I mean, I've done a lot of different things. I've worked in broadcast. Um, I worked on mainly preschool. That's the I, I work in the New York uh, animation industry, uh, and preschool is a pretty big market out here. So. I worked on Little Einsteins. I was a character animator for Little I and Little Einsteins. Um, right now, I currently am working for a YouTube company named. Uh, they do uh, Mother Goose Club, Mother Goose Club, and so I do a lot of animation work for them. Um, and I have a list on my my channel, my YouTube channel, so you can head over there and check it out. Um, just a playlist of things I've done for them. Um, that's mainly I do a lot of commercial work. Um, you know, a lot of commercial work. And right now I'm just kind of blocking in color. Uh, I've never done any game work. I've never worked in games. I did some assets for some flash games way back in the day. Um, what that was even for. Oh, some DC games <laughs> that were pretty pitiful. They did not come out very well. The internet has thankfully swallowed them whole. This was not the Birdo I was looking for. No, you're not going to. That's the wrong Birdo. It's this Birdo. I know. Uh, M. Syria. I can never say your name, dude. I've been saying your name for years now, and I still can't pronounce it properly. I know. I was just saying that at the top of the stream that um, the name Birdo is very. It's. it's I, I'm, I have to come up with a different name. What can you come up with? This guy. Come up with a name for this guy. Chicken Little. I'm from the South. Yes. I'm from the South. All right. Well, that was my alarm. My alarm just went off. Uh, I'm going to spend another five minutes just finishing up what I have here. Uh, I'm just splashing some color in. And I yeah, probably could use the magic wand on this, but it's all right. Five more minutes. Let's do five more minutes. Give me five more minutes. I know it's not the best name in the world. I'm from the south. I'm also streaming on Twitch right now, so. Uh, my understanding is the the Twitch archives it for the fourteen no no fourteen days. I almost said fourteen videos. So for fourteen days, I believe it's up there. But it'll this will live on my YouTube channel for forever, or until I pull the plug on it, one or the other. So we're just splashing some color in on this guy. Um, uh, five more minutes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get very much further with him or with this illustration in particular. Uh, but for 25 minutes, it's not terrible. Got a nice little chunk done. That's good. How about Bird Raptor? <laughs> bird Raptor could work. Well, how about this? Uh, I know you're making jokes, but he's a bird who flies a plane. Bird. Bird. Uh, Bird, birdie. I know Birdo is the worst. I, I agree. There's only one Birdo, and I really probably should change the name of this of this broadcast. Yeah, let's hang up here for a little bit. A little bit of yellow in there. What's this? Try that again. Some 
teeth going? Or even better, let's get his tongue. How saturated I'd like to get with this tongue. I mean, that could be kind of fun. Like a weird saturated tongue. Maybe a little more pink. Something like that. Let's get like an interior of the mouth. Something darker, I suppose. Maybe even a little darker. Something like that. Looks like a. <laughs> How about bird quack, big fly? <laughs> that sure is a lethal looking bird. <laughs> uh, oh, the lethal bird. I can call him the lethal bird. That could work. Maybe not. Still think the interior of this mouth might be a little need to be a little darker. No, I take it back. Kind of like what I had already. My brother Shamuzel showed up. That's his name. His name is Shamuzel. He was named Shamuzel at birth. Birdie McQuack Quack. You guys are definitely not hearing any music, by the way, right? I'm, ass I'm assuming music is just not playing. I don't know what I'm. I don't know how to get it to play through. I can get it to play through when I do a local recording, like when I record. Um, well, locally, but I don't quite understand why I can't get it to play through to the to the live streams. It's very strange. Dang it! No music. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes there's just too much technology. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is finish this guy's head off at least. But I got to I got to wrap this up and get back to work. Go darker on these claws here. Got these claws. No, I don't like that. That looks like garbage. That's even worse. Let's just do your typical gray. That. Undertale Sanscat, are you taking song requests? How's it going in the Twitch chat? Um, I am not, only because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm a little new to Twitch. Uh, I don't really know. I know there's lots of different ways of like setting up song requests and all that stuff. Uh, whoops. Fortunately, I don't really know how to do that stuff yet. Uh, I'm new, so bear with me. One of these days, I'll figure it out. One of these days, I'll... I'll be smart, figure it out. But thanks for joining, man. How's it going? Just a little bit. And I probably should be signing off now. Wednesday lunch live sketch is going to be coming to an end, which is sad. But I got the bills. I got to pay those bills. Gotta get to work. 
I'll have to finish off these legs later on. And I have to pull in the mod, the color model to see what I forget. I can sample some of the colors I did that I used for this guy. And I think that's going to do it. So what I'm going to do now is hit this button. What you're going to see is a title card in front of you. Uh, you will see a – this is a new fancy – end title cards that YouTube is rolling out. So I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work yet. Um, if you're watching it live, you don't see anything. But on the on the post, you'll see buttons that are added in later after the fact. The red subscribe button is pointing to a circular, or it will be, circular picture of my head. You click that, and it will subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with all my shenanigans. You can see links to the my social networks, my Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, as well as my good old blogger. You'll see the final version of this uh, image posted to those social uh, sites and you can also see two other videos off to your left hand side uh, there's other Wednesday lunch live sketches that I do every Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time as well as my Toon Boom Harmony tutorials that link there will lead you to the playlist thanks for joining me folks and you all have a great week